So this past Friday, to see this woman, this beautiful specimen of a woman named Jade Cargill to pop up and be her first ever match in the WWE in War Games. Now, even I was not this delirious or silly. It would not be wise to put Jay Cargill inside of a match where anything could happen and you could potentially lose one of the biggest signees in WWE history. One of the most talked about in, in whoever's eyes you're looking at controversial signees in WWE history. I've seen a lot of people talking about Jay Cargill in glowing terms and others not so much. A lot of people were very split down the middle against Jade. You either love her or you don't. In my opinion, I believe that Jay Cargill is prepared to wrestle in WWE, but she's going to need some tweaking to be able to wrestle WWE style of wrestling. I don't think it was smart to put her inside of a match where pure chaos is the key and the goal is to win. There's really no structure to a War Games match. You kind of just go with the flow. There's some planned spots, but in between there, it's just chaos. Injuries can happen and anything could go wrong. It's no shade to girls like Bianca, Charlotte, Becky, or even Shotzi, Asuka, Io, Bailey. Kyrie saying these girls have been through the trenches in these style of matches whether I'm of the latter Jay Cargill was the right pick to go inside war games are you better off or do you feel better off with Becky Lynch being the, the last pick for the war games team or do you think that there should have been an entirely different set of team teams for war games or just a different pick from Becky Lynch comment in the comment section below bye